Between 1535 and 1714 in Ireland, there was an attempted extermination of Catholicism under the penal laws. Thousands of clergy and lay people were ostracized, tortured and executed under these laws because they would not renounce their precious Catholic faith. Yet even amidst the barbarous persecution of our ancestors, the holy sacrifice of the Mass and the provision of sacraments continued to be celebrated by heroic priests at secret Mass rocks across the island of Ireland. These Mass rocks are still with us today an extraordinarily profound testament to the triumph of Christ in the hearts of the Catholic faithful. The Holy Mass celebrated at these Mass rocks is the same Mass celebrated today, for it is the same sacrifice of Christ for our wounded humanity. Aid to the Church in Need Ireland passionately believes that our Catholic heritage is worth protecting and preserving, especially in an Ireland utterly rampant with moral, spiritual and intellectual degeneracy. And so to this end, we invited priests from the 26 dioceses of Ireland to return to these sacred mass rocks, where once our ancestors went in secret and often in the dark of the night to receive and celebrate the Most Holy Eucharist. We asked these priests to celebrate Mass at a Mass rock in their diocese for the same intention, for the renewal of the faith in Ireland through the intercession of the Irish martyrs, so that we may be inspired to renew our baptismal promise and protect the suffering and persecuted Church of Christ. Christ, our King of Kings, wants us to receive him in the Blessed Sacrament, as he called our ancestors over hundreds of years, so that the faith shall not perish from this land, and the light of faith shall continue to shine in the darkness. For we know that the darkness shall not overcome it, so long as we cling to Christ. This is both a challenge and an invitation. Let's be who we say we are. Let's practice what we preach. Let us be true disciples. Aid to the Church in Need, invite the Catholic faithful in Ireland, the Irish faithful diaspora, and our Christian brothers and sisters around the world to pray with us and for us for the renewal of the faith in Ireland and for the healing and help of persecuted Christians through the intercession of our Irish martyrs.